Okay, this is the Cubis project checklist, and with this uh, file, you should find on the um, the internet where you are um, a checklist where you can print off and read on what the things you should have done, the nine points to make a your fight to your final piece. Now. Um, these are called phases, and that's just not to mistake them with homework tasks. So um, there's going to be nine phases, and, and here they are. The first one is to do an observational drawing. So there we go, an observational drawing. That's going to get reduced down to A5 and put in your book. Then there's going to be phase two is writing about Paul Cezanne. And, of course, you want to mention his chisel brush and stuff. It's all in there. And then uh, phase Three is Cezanne's technique, where you um, produce a picture and the, uh, by like Cezanne, and then do your own uh, objects from your first picture. Then um, phase four is you write about cubism, um, and you want a double page spread on that, or more. You can go further, of course. Uh, the, these are all starting points. So um, phase five is developing studies. Now there's going to be three of these. So that's de developing studies, where you produce, put in a picture. Um, copied one would be best and then you write about it and then your own done it in your own style um, phase six is um, developing studies two so there's the same thing with a picture by Leger and there's the bottles from the original picture now um, one grease sketchbook that is phase seven and that is uh, where you produce some um, objects uh, produce one of your objects like one greed did many times there's a little extra supplement bit I put in there but that's just what I did because I want to get a good grade show now I developed it to a, a final picture and then developing studies three this one's a, I've done a little bit of extended writing there but extended um, three is where you um, develop instead of three, look at copy an artist's work and then produce your own final one. I left that to last because it looks like my final picture, which is um, phase nine, where you do your final picture and you write a rationale about it. Now on the sheet there, there is a extension, developing work beyond your final image. And there is another uh, video on there because uh, how to develop your final piece of work further. Of course, the final piece of work is going to be big on a canvas. And that is because all these are just starting points. You know, have lots of students diversify and go off task and go in different directions, but fill up their book. And these are all just starting points for you to then produce your work to show and you, how, how good you are and maximize your marks.